Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. In this video, we're going to go over different chassis. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. Do us a favor, if you find the thing in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, top in. Uh, this video is going to be about the different types of chassis for the Dell PowerEdge R240. There are technically three types of chassis, only, uh, but there's only, only two that are actually like prevalent in the market. So first off, we have the two bay, which is uh, cabled in hard drives and a single cabled power supply. There's also, which is not featured here, a four bay which is cabled in with the cabled uh, power supply and that's not very common and then we have over here the four bay hot swap with the dual uh, power supplies in the back that are also hot swap. So those are your three types of chassis. Um, and as a whole, uh, the differences um, are more than just storage. So um, in a lot of cases with a lot of different systems, the only chassis or the only difference in the chassis will be really the storage. The fronts might be a little bit different. The ports might be moved around a little bit, but as a whole, the uh, the storage will be the only difference. Well, with R240, there's several differences uh, between the different chassis. So we're just going to hop in. Obviously, storage is a big difference. Two uh, two drives on this one that are cabled in versus four drives on this one that are hot swap one power supply in the back that's cabled in versus two power supplies that are hot swap and more importantly on the four bay there is a dedicated PCIe slot for the RAID which is important because uh, it essentially adds an extra PCIe slot and uh, allows you to get um, three PCIe slots one of them being dedicated for the RAID so you have two extra PCIe slots to use for whatever else whereas with the two bay there is no uh, dedicated port for the RAID and you only have your two PCIe slots so you have to use one of those PCIe slots for the RAID, which also means you have to have a bracket for the RAID uh, in order to uh, be able to install it, whereas you don't need a bracket for the RAID over here because of the de dedicated PCIe slot. So what we're going to do is we're going to bust these open, we're going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two uh, insides, and that way you can kind of see a little bit more about the differences. So let's get going. All right, so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'll open both of them at the same time. Here's your two bay cabled versus your four bay hot swap. So we're gonna go ahead and lift the tops and put our lids to the side. So the main differences as we discussed are uh, storage, power supply, and RAID. So let's kind of hop in and, and go uh, little by little. So uh, first off, you'll notice there's an actual back plane for the four bay versus there's no backplane over here because they are cabled in. So you have these connectors that come up to the two spots and then this is just dead space over here uh, versus the backplane over here, right? So then you have the hot swap power supplies. So you can see these slide out versus the cabled one. And we do in our um, uh, power supply video show you how to actually install both of these and the cabled one is definitely much tougher to do nothing that's hard but it's definitely much tougher to do um, and then the other big difference is and I'm going to remove the riser to show you over here in fact I'll remove both risers to show you so for the for the hot swap you see right here this is a dedicated uh, PCIe slot for the RAID card whereas over here when we take this riser out that is missing. So you got uh, your two PCIe slots from the riser, but there is no dedicated uh, port for the for the for the uh, RAID card. Whereas right here, you can see there's two, one of them being used for a network card right now, and then the third one for the RAID. So um, it's definitely a big advantage of the uh, the four bay hot swap, um, and it has some differences and some implications on how you install them um, and the whole process with it. But those are the the heart of the differences. And now while we're in here, I wanted to actually show you a little bit more of just the 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 server as a whole and use this as kind of a um, good opportunity uh, for you guys to see uh, the whole server and do a general overview. So uh, first things first, you have the back plane for the hot swap that the four drives will go into. You have your four fans. You have your air baffle over here. The air baffle is going to cover four DIMM slots and one CPU socket. The CPU socket is for uh, Intel Xeon E2100, E2200 series, and the four DIMM slots can max out at 128 via 432 gigs at a max speed of 2666. You have two PCIe slots that can be used for really whatever you want. Uh, we added a network card, and then you have a third PCIe slot at the bottom dedicated for the RAID, okay? And of course, here's your motherboard. Here's your dual hot swap power supplies, and that's kind of a general 
overview. Um, the other thing I did want to note is you have uh, built-in NIC in the back for two one gigabit uh, RJ45. Um, and again, that's kind of the heart of the system. Now we're going to stack them on top of each other so that you can see uh, the ports on the front and the back, which are actually the exact same, but wanted to nonetheless put them on top of each other so that you can see how they look. The only difference is really going to be the power supply in the back. All right, so we uh, just put them on top of each other so that you can see the four bay versus the two bay. Um, again, because it's hot swap, I can actually pull this out, whereas um, I can't physically pull this out. I'd have to connect it and uh, disconnect it inside to be able to pull uh, the hard drive out. Now, um, outside of the storage difference, uh, all the ports over here are the same. Um, the chassis length is the same. Uh, essentially, everything is uh, the same on the outside when it comes to uh, the size of the chassis uh, and where the ports are. Uh, again, the big difference here would just be the storage and how the drives go in. So now we'll show you the back. All right, so here is the back. So you'll see all your ports over here are the exact same. You're going to have your low profile and your high profile. And then you're going to have your cabled power supply versus your dual hot swap power supply. But in essence, outside of the, uh, the power supply and then on the front, the, the storage, uh, everything else is the same as far as the ports and the profiles and all that good stuff. So I hope this was helpful to someone at home to understand the difference between uh, the different types of chassis for the R240. Uh, do us a favor if you made it this far. Hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built servers, whether that's Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, if you're looking for uh, AMD Epics, AMD Ryzen's, your Intel Scalables, uh, we build all sorts of servers and we'll custom uh, tailor to exactly what your data center or your home lab needs. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. It's sales at cloudengine.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.